In a previous video, I mentioned York as one of my top cities to visit if you're on a tight budget. You really can find great prices on accommodation, which is often half of what you'd pay in London, and the city is filled with beautiful medieval architecture, plus York has some great cheap eats. My favorite spot in York is St. Mary's Abbey and the Yorkshire Museum Gardens. Not only is this an interesting and important site in the history of the city, I just think it's the most beautiful and peaceful space. Walking through the Abbey and Gardens is free. If you enjoy archaeology and natural sciences, then the adjacent Yorkshire Museum is a great activity. It costs eight pounds, so maybe save it for a colder rainy day. Now, the museum you simply must visit on your trip to York is the National Railway Museum. This free museum is packed with historic locomotives, royal coaches, and unique collections such as ambulance trains from the First World War. Make sure to leave enough time to fully explore and maybe even attend a free talk at one of the exhibits. I'm sure my fellow cathedral fans will want to see York Minster. This beautiful and historic church is well worth your time, but unlike many other cathedrals, they do charge an admission fee. This is understandable, as it costs tens of thousands of pounds a day just to run the Minster. Now, if you want to attend a service, these are free, and I wholeheartedly recommend Coral Evensong. You can always leave a small donation to support their work. And finally, the most important thing, where are you going to eat in York? This city has lots of great cafes and pubs to enjoy, including the Brew and Brownie and the famous Betty's Cafe Tea Room. A personal favorite of mine is the York Roast Company, which serves their roast in a delicious Yorkshire pudding wrap. Sadly, I didn't get a photo in their store, so here's a stock photo of a roast that I'm sure will in no way make you hungry. If you've been to York, I'd love to hear your favorite places to see. And if you're planning a future trip, let us know what you're looking forward to the most.